Today, I'm going to show you. The All Keys Lost Key Programming for 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan LMQB 5A. Here's what we need, C4-06 Adapter. C4-06 C02 Decryption Board. P004 Adapter. MP001 Programmer. ELV Data Collector, MQB Collector. ECM Dedicated Cable, ECM001. TCM Dedicated Cable TCM Kit 1. With these three accessories, we can collect data more easily. Tap IMO then select VW. Choose the latest version. Here, you can select by model or select by system. We'll go by system. Select VW. And then pick the fourth option MQB meter. Currently, only supports add keys and all keys lost for MQB 5A. If connected to the vehicle via OBD, the system can directly identify whether it is type 5A or 5C. Tap on MQB 48-5A slash MQB 49-5C detect option, then press the ignition to power on the dashboard. It identifies that this is a 5A type. Next, tap on all keys lost. Keymaster G3 will prompt you to connect to the internet. We've already connected, so just tap OK. The first step is to read IMO data from each module. This system is the proximity key platform. So we need to read the IMO data from all these modules. Let's start by reading the dashboard IMO data. Since we've already removed the screws, we can easily take it apart. The dashboard comes with our 7F70147 MCU. Find the R7F70147 option. Tap Guide and read it carefully. This is the wiring diagram. We can check the appearance. The soldering points are on the back. So we need to continue disassembling. The soldered area is roughly here. Just connect the wires according to the wiring diagram. There are two decryption boards. Today, we will be using the Black C4-06 C02 decryption board. Then, for the decryption wires, we need two red decryption wires for the connection. Just make sure to connect these from the decryption board. Don't make any direct shortcuts on the dashboard PCB board. Let's start by soldering according to this wiring diagram. After soldering, give the wires a gentle pull to check for secure connections. Next, let's solder the decryption board. Now we need to connect the MP001 programmer. The power is supplied directly through the main cable. Now, with this, the connections are complete. Let's separate these three wires a bit so they don't touch each other. Tap back and start reading the dashboard's IMO data. It prompts that you need to connect the MP001. Now, the flash data has been read. The file name can be modified.
Now, let's go ahead and read the flash data. The flash data has also been read. Then, let's parse the MO data. Follow the prompts to load the flash data. Then load the flash data. The MO data for this dashboard has been parsed. Now, we have parsed out the CS code for this dashboard. With that done it means we have completed reading the MO data for the dashboard. Next, we need to read ECM MO data. Restore this dashboard. The ECM model we need to read this time is the MED 17.5.25. It is read in bench mode. Select the MP001 program R. Here are some important notes. This is the connection method. This is the ECM appearance. And this is the wiring diagram for bench mode. If you don't have the ECM001 dedicated cable, you can use jumper wires to make the connections for reading. There are two wiring definitions for this type, you can try both of them. Today we will use this ECM001 dedicated cable for quick reading. Locate the wire for this MED 17.5.25. We can proceed by simply plugging it in. Tap Connect. The connection is successful. Let's tap on Read Emo Data. The EEPROM data has been read. Now, we are reading the flash data. This data has also been read successfully. Here is its CS code. Next, we will parse the MO data. Follow the prompts to load the flash data. Then, load the EEPROM data. After that, make sure to double check everything. Tap OK if there are no problem. Now I parse the ECM MO data. We have completed reading the MO data for the ECM. Tap Disconnect. Next, we need to read TCM MO data. This is a DQ380, 0DE, type TCM. So, let's go for DQ380, 0DE, option. It requires a P004 adapter. Tap OK. Before proceeding, let's review the notes. If we do not have this dedicated cable, we can also connect and read the data by using jumper wires. Now, let's make the connection, locate the DQ380 cable and plug it in. Then connect it to the P004 adapter. Now tap on connect. 
follow the prompts to turn off the ignition, since we have already turned it off, we can directly tap OK. Follow the prompt and tap Yes. Then, turn on the ignition. Good, the connection is done. Now, let's directly read the TCM IMO data. The CS code has been read successfully. After that, it will generate a new TCM IMO data file. We have completed reading the TCM IMO data. Tap Disconnect. Turn off the ignition. Next, we need to read ELV IMO data, which is this module. If you do not have the ELV data collector, you can go with the first method to read IMO data by RH850-850 adapter. And requires you to read the data by soldering wires. If you have the collector cable, just connect it directly to the OBD port, and then plug in the dashboard connector. Once everything is connected, you can start collecting the ELV authentication data. The ELV IMO data can be calculated directly through the server. Today, we operate the second method. First, let's check out the guide. And here is the wiring diagram. In the vehicle, we'll directly disconnect the dashboard and connect it to the MQB collector. Then connect it to the main cable. Follow the prompts. Since we are using a proximity key, simply tap OK and then press the ignition switch once. The ELV authentication data has been collected. Now, we have obtained all the IMO data we need. The next step is to reinstall the modules that we previously removed. We've read IMO data from all modules. Next, we will proceed to Calculate sync code Select proximity Follow the prompts to load the dashboard, ICM, data Then load the ECM data followed by the TCM data. And finally load the ELV data. The synchronization code now has now been calculated. It starts with the VIN code. Verify that everything is correct and tap OK. This is the storage path for the data. Now, let's move on to make dealer key. Make dealer key means to write the vehicle's IMO data onto the key so that the vehicle can recognize it. We need to do this before continue with the next steps. Follow the prompts to load the dashboard IMO data. And then load the synchronization data. Next, place the key into the key sensing coil. Make dealer key successfully. Connect the main cable to the vehicle's OBD port. Alright, let's operate program keys. Follow the prompts to load the dashboard IMO data. Make sure to verify the dashboard data carefully. Since we are only programming one key at this time, 
Just go with the default one here. There is a attention here. Keep the key close to the induction coil. Tap OK. Press the ignition once. We can see that the dashboard key mode displays 0 to 1. And it turns 1 to 1 and the dashboard lights up, indicating that the key has been programmed. Let's do a quick test. Press the remote and it works. It means that the all keys lost programming has been completed successfully.